For more than 10 years, Strategy and PwC's strategy consulting business has analyzed R&D investment at the 1,000 biggest spending public companies in the world. In 2015, spending reached an all-time high of $680 billion, achieving a year-over-year growth rate of 5.1%, the largest seen since 2012. However, revenue of the top 1,000 declined about 1%, causing R&D spend as a percent of revenue to tick upward to 3.7%, primarily because of the fall in oil prices and their impact on energy companies' revenues. What is the reason for this recent increase in R&D spending? Well, we've really just reverted to the mean. The long-term trend since 2005 has been 5.4%. So low five uh, year-over-year increase is really just, you know, traditional. The last couple of years has been pretty slow, uh, but that was after some very strong double-digit uh, growth years after the recession. So it's just averaging out, and now we're back on track of the long-term mean. A reflection of this trend is evident in the industry sectors we studied. Software and Internet grew 27.4% year-over-year, surpassing industrials as the fourth-largest industry by R&D spend. And with a strong growth rate the last couple of years, combined with a decline in spending by the computing and electronics industry, we believe healthcare could become the largest industry based on R&D spend by 2019. However, our refrain has long been that it's not how much you spend, but how you spend it. As our Global Innovation 1000 study has consistently shown, there is no statistical relationship between R&D spending and financial performance. In fact, the companies voted most innovative tend to outperform the top spenders on financial metrics, such as revenue and market cap growth, year after year. In 2015, within the top 20 R&D spenders list, the top three companies remained the same as in years past, Volkswagen, Samsung, Intel. For the first time, Apple has joined the list at number 18. And again, Apple and Google were voted the top two most innovative companies. Tesla continued its rise up the rankings, pushing Amazon down to fifth place. And Toyota rejoined the list at tenth place. Well, I mean, we've asked, you know, since 2010, people to tell us, you know, who they think the most innovative companies are. And Apple has dominated that list at number one every year uh, that we've asked the question, Google number two. And so it's very, very consistent. You know, there's a global uh, view that these are the two most innovative companies on the planet. But the dominance of Apple, you know, has started to wane a bit from getting over 80 percent of the votes uh, in the first few years. We did this down to just 62, which is still quite impressive. Uh, But they really don't have, you know, exclusivity to innovativeness uh, in spite of their great success. To learn more about the 2015 Global Innovation 1000 study, please visit our website, 